Hi everyone, and my name is uh, Peter Heinbeek. Uh, I'm Professor of Medical Informatics and Head of the Department of Medical Informatics at the Erasmus Medical Center. And I have a technical background. I did Technical University Delft, where I studied electrical engineering and then moved very quickly into more data science oriented work and research. I've been at Erasmus for a long time, uh, more than 25 years in, in different positions, uh, but now ended up being the head of the Department of Medical Informatics, which of course I'm, I'm very proud of. Uh, our department um, has a couple of research lines um, and one uh, that I've been driving is the health data science uh, research line. Uh, that research line has a focus on unlocking data to improve healthcare. Um, so the aim is really to create a kind of learning healthcare system where we learn from every individual item that a patient is generating uh, for the next patient. Um, now that sounds obvious, uh, but it's quite challenging. And our group is therefore focusing on a couple of different uh, elements. First of all, improving interoperability of data. So making sure that we can unlock the data to learn from it. I'll talk a bit about that. And the other part is building analytical tools uh, on top of the, of the data to make sure that we can generate uh, results in a consistent, transparent, but also a reliable uh, way. And then the third component that's very important for us is building communities, um, because of course it's nice to have standardized data or methods to standardize data and analytics. But what you also need is databases and data, um, ideally geographically spread across Europe in our case. But you also need to have a very strong community around that to, um, to sustain that and to push that forward. And that's also a very important uh, topic that we um, try to, to work on uh, at the department. So let's start with the first one, which is uh, improving interoperability uh, of data. And that's, of course, uh, the focus of the Eden project as well. So it's about standardizing the structure and the terminology used in the databases by moving to a common data model. And my whole group is focused on the OMOP common data model, which we also use in Eden, um, because that's, you know, we think that's uh, the good choice and, and we like to help to make it better uh, and build top, uh, on top of the common data model tools to, to facilitate research. I'm, I'm, of course, very proud that uh, I'm the coordinator of the Eden project uh, and therefore am steering the work in Eden together with Nigel Hughes as, my, my, as the lead uh, of the project um, to make sure that we um, well, standardize data at a very large scale um, and do all the other things as well within the project, that is standardization, analytics and also execution of studies uh, in the data network. Um, now, Eden has been a fantastic experience so far, and I think we have delivered much more than we could have dreamt about uh, when I wrote the proposal, uh, considering the large number of databases that we are standardizing to OMOP. But also the, the real change that we are creating in Europe, where many countries are uh, now moving their data to the OMOP common data model, create national nodes in their countries to really help uh, to move uh, collaboration forward within the nation, but also internationally. And I think that's a, a big, um, big thing that we have, um, have delivered so far. The other part, of course, is then once we have the data in the common data model, how can we build um, pipelines on top of that? And what type of questions do we want to answer? Uh, and the work that we do in Eden and in Odyssey in general, where I'm also participating in the steering group, um, is to, to look at three different topics, um, and that is characterization, so how can we best describe our patient population, so we descriptive studies, effect estimation, population level effect estimation, where we look at the effect uh, of, of drugs on safety and effectiveness and perform studies to compare two different drugs against each other and build all kinds of interesting tools for that. And the third component is patient level prediction. So that is how to build prediction models, um, knowing all the information in the, in the medical record. Can we say something about what happened in the future to these patients? And that's uh, a focus of Work Package 3 that I'm, um, I've been leading uh, so far. And that's on personalized medicine. So how can we make sure that we know um, better what the, the risk is of certain outcomes in, in patients? Uh, and we want to leverage the full record, which is quite a unique thing because many of the prediction models that have been developed so far are built on a small set of, of variables, 
often defined by experts. Uh, and then the model is built and well, published. Um, in the work package three, we really might like to make big changes in that. Well, first of all, we want to make sure that we develop these models and validate these models in a standardized way. So together with the Odyssey community and the page level uh, prediction working group uh, led by Jenna Reps, um, we are um, building frameworks and publish about those frameworks to do both the development, the validation, uh, internal validation, so on the data itself, but also external validation. And that's a very important topic uh, that my team is, is working on. So how can we make sure that we have a proper assessment of prediction models uh, in the real world? And this is, of course, highly facilitated uh, by the common data model, because if we build a prediction model on the CDM here in Rotterdam, we can then um, quite easily validate that model on another database uh, somewhere else uh, in the world. And uh, my students, uh, you'll hear more from them, they have uh, b been thinking about methods, how to do that, also run studies on the network to see how well this works uh, with clinical questions. Um, and I think that's a very big, uh, big step forward to scale this up to the level that we have uh, accomplished so far. Um, in our health data science group, we work on all three topics. I'll, I focused a bit on the prediction uh, world, uh, but also characterization is a topic that uh, some of the students may talk about, about how do we actually look at treatment patterns over time? How do we describe uh, drug utilization patterns, for example? Um, and on the effect estimation side, uh, we also have uh, people that um, work on that, on that topic to look at heterogeneity of treatment effects. So how can we actually um, look at the effect of drugs in different risk strata. So if you are at a higher risk of something, does it actually matter which pill you take? Uh, or is that different from a person who may not be at a high risk? Uh, and that could impact the choice of medication, the choice of treatment by the clinicians. Now this is a quite exciting field. It's pretty broad uh, and it also means that we have to think about education. So how do we train people to, uh, to get familiar with all these new techniques. Um, so that's why the component of community building is also so important for, uh, for my team. Um, we do that to uh, organizing symposia, like the OC symposium, where we have uh, trainings, online trainings, or face-to-face or -face trainings, I should say. Uh, but next to that, there's also, of course, the Eden Academy that the Eden Project uh, has been delivering, where we um, create an online environment for people to learn about all these new developments on standardization to the CDM, but also how to build prediction models, which is a nice course in the Eden Academy I can highly recommend uh, you to have a look at. So in conclusion, I think we've done a lot of work. Uh, we have really made a paradigm shift on the use of observational data for these three different questions, characterization, prediction, and effect estimation. Uh, but there's also still a lot of work to do. And I'm quite happy that the community has grown and there are so many uh, more people in the world that are now leveraging our tools and, and improve them uh, from people in Denmark that build, that build models, prediction models, to all kinds of other efforts that are being done. Uh, I'm very proud of that and I'm really looking forward to uh, the next, uh, next five years where we will continue to leverage all these interesting tools on the common data model. So I thank you very much uh, for this uh, interview.